Hello and welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. If you are new, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. Today is day 18 of my countdown to the holidays and I am working on this right now upside down. So I will turn it around. I want to also show you what the canvas looks like so far once this is done. I love how all the colors are coming together. I think it's going to be really pretty when it's done. And I cannot believe we are a week away from Christmas. And I don't know if I can say that I am ready yet. Um, I will be. I am getting my Christmas cards milled out today on the 18th. So my Christmas cards may be late, but they're going to close friends and family. So I'm not concerned if it's late, at least they're getting them. Better to get them than not at all. And last year I didn't even send them out. I made my Christmas cards, but they never got out. So at least they're getting out. Hopefully they will be there on time. The ones that are local um, should be, but the way that our postal system is, you know, who knows. But at least they are in the mailbox. I got all of them ready to go out early this morning. And it is Monday for me. So if you're watching this on the day that it comes out, it will also be Monday for you. Yesterday, I was super busy, but I was super, super productive. So I was really happy with what all I've gotten done. And then today's going to be another busy day, but then after today, it should be smooth sailing until my daughter gets here. And I think she's going to get here on the 23rd, is what they're saying now. It was going to be not until the 24th, but I think they're going to go ahead and get in a day early. So I'm really looking forward to that. But before we get started um, with my whip and chat, if you're not familiar with what I am doing, and I mentioned that's day 18, is I have been doing a video a day from December 1st until now. I did miss one day and had to put both of those days together. And that was um, day 16 and 17. But I had just gotten so busy and I just didn't want to put two out on the same day. So I thought, might as well just go ahead and just do one. So I did one video. And I am working on this Advent calendar. I've made this canvas into an Advent calendar. So it's not Christmas related at all. But it is a calendar that Add More Zest created um, with the help of Diamond Art Studio UK. And I'm loving this canvas. It's really cute. It's a good size. It's not too much to do every day. I was hoping that I would be a couple of days ahead of schedule every day um, or for this particular canvas and this particular playlist. And I was doing okay until recently, and then I've been doing it on the day that it's going out. And that's fine too, because then I have you know more to talk about of what happened the day before. But after tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'll really have to talk about. I'm sure I'll figure out something. And I do have some comments that have been left that I have not gotten to. So we'll do that also, but how are you guys doing? I hope that if you do observe the holidays that you're going to be able to have some time for yourself. And for those of you that might be alone for the holidays or the holidays look a little different um, for you this year, I am thinking of you. My family has gone through a tragedy um, this year the, in September. And so it's going to be really hard for all of us. I'm so glad my daughter's coming in. That's going to definitely help. But I really feel for my sister and my stepmother. 
because their, theirs is going to look totally different than what mine does. But for those of you that you know need some company or would like some company, check out the premieres. That's going to start on Christmas Eve, December the 24th, and it's going to go round the clock until Boxing Day, which is the 26th. And if you're not familiar with what a premiere is, that is where the videos are pre-recorded, but the creator of the video is going to be there live at a specified time. And different creators are going to do different things. I think the majority of the creators are diamond painters, but you know that doesn't matter if you're not a diamond painter feel free to watch them anyway because they're going to be doing other things not necessarily diamond painting some of us will be um, diamond painting and then others will be just doing you know vlogs or just different things for an hour i'm going to be going on my premiere at four o'clock p.m eastern standard time on boxing day the 26th I will have a link for you guys and as soon as the playlist link is set up I will also include that underneath my videos and also underneath my community tab and you should see them in Instagram not just from me but from others as well so I hope that um, you are able to join me I think I have a really good time because on the 26th, I think that will be where everybody, you know, they're, they're over the holidays or they're over doing a lot of socialization. They're just wanting to relax. I'm sure there's going to be some people that are going to hit the malls and other shops wanting to make returns. But I purchased everything online. I don't think that my kids are going to want to return anything anyway. So I'm not going to have to get out. I'm not sure what my daughter's plan is for the 26th. I need to find out what they're going to do. But I'm not really sure about that yet. So I am going to be there for an hour. I think my um, premiere is around 56, 57 minutes, so close to an hour. And then once my premiere is over, then the next premiere will automatically run on that playlist. So they, whoever is after me will automatically pop up. It's my first year doing a premiere, so I'm really excited about it. I think it's I hope you guys are going to like it. I think it's something that I want to definitely continue doing every year if I am invited back, which I hope that I will be. But that will be something um, that you may want to put on your calendars. I'm not sure of the exact time that the premiere starts on Christmas Eve. I'm assuming that it starts at midnight. And the times, I believe, that are on the schedule, all the times on the schedule are in, e are in Central Time. So for Eastern, we are an hour ahead. But I believe it all starts at midnight. So I think that they're going to be rolling just continuously for three days. And usually it's just two days, but they had enough creators this year that were interested. And so Crafts with Crashly was this the one that is putting all this together for us and so she was able to come up with a time slot that works out for three days now so i'm really looking forward to that i'm planning on watching several of the premieres hoping to watch them um, when they go on live with my daughter here i'm not sure what my plans are going to look like i may have to listen to the replays and you know that's fine too but i'm definitely going to eventually watch all of them definitely will not be for three days straight but i'll watch those i'll have plenty that i can listen to when i'm diamond painting after my family leaves my daughter's fiance's mother 
is flying in to Georgia on the 26th. Not sure what time, but she'll be spending the rest of the time with us from the 26th until I think she goes back to California on the 29th. And then once they drop her off at the airport, then Maddie and her fiance and all of their animals will be um, leaving that day too. So we are going to have a house full for a few days. I am really excited about that. My daughter's fiance's mother will be staying in a hotel. I mean, we just don't have the space for another person to stay. We don't have, we have four bedrooms, but one of our bedrooms is an office. There's no place to sleep. And with Madison and her fiance here, and then she's going to have the cat in her cat in the spare bedroom. I don't think that my cat would allow her cat to roam around. I don't think that would be a very good idea. So every time that Madison has brought Lucy, her cat in the past, we just keep her in the spare bedroom and Lucy is happy as can be in there. And then she'll bring her two dogs and they will have to stay downstairs in the basement and I'll just have to keep my dogs down there my dogs get along with her dog very well. She does have a puppy that my dogs have not met yet, but Molly, our collie, loves puppies. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. Our oldest dog loves all dogs, so she's not going to have a problem with it either. But it's going to be very chaotic, so I am trying my best to get ahead of schedule on the videos with them being here and then also having so many animals in the house. So this week I'm going to focus on trying to go ahead and getting the remaining videos that I have for the week finished. So that is on my to-do list, but my to-do list has been dwindling down quite a bit, which I'm really excited for. I had this long list. It was like three pages of things I needed to do. So now I am down to less than half a page. So I should have all of that done by today. I got my Christmas cards finished yesterday. I had already made them. I hand make my cards. I'd already hand made my Christmas cards. I just needed to address them, get them out. And then I went and bought some stamps because I was afraid I was gonna run out. So those went all out in the mail today. I do have a couple of packages I need to mail out and one pa a couple of packages that are going to be diamond painting related from our event that I need to get out. That's going to um, be done this afternoon. They will be ready to go tomorrow. And so that will be done. I can mark that off my list. And then I have grading to do for final grades for a part-time school that I work for. I am officially on vacation today with my full-time job. So I don't have to worry about that until closer to when class starts. So we are, I will, we are, we're not closed yet. Uh, the school will be officially closed on the 22nd, but I went ahead and took just a few days off early before we're actually closed. And when we're closed, I am off work, so I don't have to use vacation days for those days. So I'm off until the first of the year there. And then as soon as I get my grades posted today and final grades done, I will be officially on vacation and I don't have to do anything related to work. So I'm excited about that. I'll probably take half the day today, at least half the day to grade my finals. And then what I like to do is wait until tomorrow. Grades are 
due by 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, and I like to wait until Tuesday morning and give my students a little bit of time to see their grades and to tell me, you know, I turned so-and-so in late, you didn't grade it in case I missed something. And I'll get that done and then I will not log in. I mean, I'll still get on my computer, but I am not getting into my schools. So I'm going to get as much diamond painting as I can get in until my daughter gets here. Everything's already done for the house. I'll just kind of need to straighten up a little bit before she gets here. The, our spare bedroom or extra bedroom is ready for them. I've already changed the sheets. That's ready to go. Put blankets on. Give them some extra blankets if they needed it. I have an extra litter box for Lucy. So I will get that down. We are going to go grocery shopping sometime this afternoon. I'm going to get everything that we need for the week or as much as I can um, without having to go back. So I'm sure I'll forget something or they'll want something, which is fine. But I want to get just as much as I possibly can from the grocery store. I do not want to go to the store after today unless I just need one or two things because I know the store is going to be absolutely crazy. So I've got to think about a list, what we're going to eat. We are going to go out a couple of times. And I did buy a honey baked ham and a turkey from Honey Baked Company. Everybody loves honey baked ham um, in my family. We don't buy it very often. I don't think we even bought a honey baked ham last year. So I'm doing that. So we'll have one day we'll have turkey or we may just do both of them for Christmas and then we can have leftovers. I know my daughter is going to go and visit her dad and Paige. My youngest will go as well. I don't know when. But that will be one time that my husband and I will probably just eat leftovers or I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I will have time while they are with at their dad's to also diamond paint. I am trying to get caught up on my cross stitch conversion. So we'll see how much of that I can get caught up on. It just takes a long time, and I just haven't even picked it up in the last three days. So I was already behind anyway. Now I am further behind. My goal is to have this finished by the second week of January. At first it was going to be, I wanted it done by the end of December. That is not realistic, so I am went ahead and extending that out to the second week of January and that may even get extended out further to the end of January but the goal is I do not want to take it into February so if I can get it done just by the end of January I'll be happy but would love to have it done by the second week but it takes a long time to do I am getting faster with it but it's just one of those things that you just have to take your time. It's not like your typical diamond painting where I can get a couple of sections done a day. Or I can, you know, just really spend some time, just put on podcast or put on whip and chats or one of my books. Um, I like to listen to audiobooks, put one of those on, and then I can just diamond paint for several hours at a time. And I can't do that with the cross stitch conversion. I have to pay attention. So I don't have anything in the background. I will have music on, but I don't have anything that I really have to listen to because if I do, I am not going to pay attention necessarily as much to the cross stitch conversion. And because it is a mystery, 
I have no idea if I'm doing something right or not until I finish it. And I'm not looking at the Facebook group for the cross stitch conversion until after I finish a day. And when I finish a day, I will go and post mine and I'll keep doing that until I finish it. I'll just keep posting mocks. I want mine to be in there too. It may be one of the last ones that they see that's in there, but I'm going to keep doing that. If they do this next year and I decide that I am going to purchase another one, then I think and if I get in on the first release of theirs, which I didn't this time, but if I got in on the first release, as soon as it came in, I would start on it. Just because I'd want to get a jump start. I don't know at this point if I'm going to purchase another one. They are talking about having more of these and especially having one for Christmas next year. And they're taking comments from people and they're, they're looking to see how they can improve, which I think is great. But I am just not sure if I would want to purchase another one of these. I think for me, as of right now, I think one is enough. Although I really do like the mystery. That one's fun. If they had one that's not Christmas but it was just a mystery painting. I might purchase that. I think that would be a lot of fun to purchase a cross stitch conversion mystery again, but I would want it to be in grid lines the way that I'm used to seeing it. And that would easily load onto pattern keeper. That's what's really slowing me down. So I'm just doing it row for row at this point. Because if not, it's so easy to miss. And if you miss one, it's going to be rather obvious. And I did that on one of mine. I think it was on day, if it was day two or three. I think it was day two. That was a total mess. I may straighten it. I may just leave it. Uh, more than likely, I'm not going to do anything with it. When I get done with this, I'm going to be excited that it's done. I am going to frame it. And so next year, I will have this out and I can use that as a daily countdown. So that will be fun. But honestly, if you are working on the cross stitch conversion, do you think that you will purchase another one next year? I know that a couple of people have put theirs aside because it was so tedious and it was so much work. And I almost did that. I came so close to putting mine away, but I've gotten this far with it. And so I thought I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now I'm determined. I am determined that I'm going to finish it, but I don't want to spend hours and hours on it because I have goals that I want to meet in 2024 so I don't want to just sit here and spend a lot of time on that one which is why I want to get it finished as soon as possible I am going to include that as one of my goals though to complete the cross stitch conversion and I think I'm going to put on my goals the end of January although I am aiming for the second week in January but I think just to make sure, give myself plenty of time to do it, I think I will go ahead and put the end of January on my goals. As far as diamond painting goes, I am going to have, or I hope to, I'm not going to promise anything, but I hope to have a couple of videos out after the 26th because I am going to take a break from videoing, recording, until the first of the year, which is only a few days from when I plan on not having videos I'm going to be doing. But I'm hoping that I can get a couple of videos done and have those ready. So that way, 
you'll have something to listen to and I can take a short break because this has been a lot of work. I have totally, totally enjoyed it. It has been something that I definitely want to make as part of my tradition for my channel. I don't know what it's going to look like next year. I don't know if I'm going to do a whip and chat again. I'm probably not. I'm probably just going to do videos. But I don't know. Well, I mean, we have a year to decide, so I've got plenty of time. But this is going to be a tradition that I really want to keep up. So that may even be part of my goals. I am going to finalize my goals and that will be up the first of the year along with I'm going to have a video that's going to be my December progress. I've done all months except for November. I did not do a November update because I had started working on my daily videos. But every month other than November, I had a video showing my progress. I want to continue doing that for next year as well. So you'll see that video coming out the end of December, first part of January. And then I'm going to have a year in review. So the year in review is going to be very similar. I mean, you'll see some overlap from my December but you'll also see all of the diamond paintings that I have completed. And then I'm going to also have my whips to show you guys. And so that's going to also be in there. So I may go ahead if I have the time and go ahead and show you the whips as part of my end of the month. So end of the year, and those will all be going into January. And I have, I think, 12. If I count my cross-stitch conversion, my massive cross-stitch conversion that I'm working on, but I'm not counting that as part of my whips because it's, it's separate. But I will show you that one. I have not been able to touch that since November. I got quite a bit done in November because I was doing the event with Kidding Up Kitten was hosting and that was a lot of fun. Um, she's going to do it again in May. I want to participate again in May on that one, but the only issue with that is that I'll also be in the middle of the Josephine Wall event that I am co-hosting. So I may not get as much done as I would like in May on my cross-stitch conversion, but I might be able to dedicate maybe X amount of time a day, which is what I'm kind of planning on doing. I want to get that one finished because I'm ready to move on and start on a cross-stitch conversion that's going to be either a princess or something else. I'm not sure, but I have one that I purchased from Jade recently that hasn't come in yet. And I purchased the, can the canvas from her as well as the drills, but I purchased the pattern from Creatively Stitching on Etsy. And that one's going to be a lot of fun. It's a Mandy Manzano, so it shouldn't take as long. And it's not as large as what I'm working on now. But I am going to, I am determined, I'm going to finish that one first. But now that I've seen Katie Diamonds and Washi working on Loki, and that's not the one I'm going to be doing, but working on Loki, now I want to start working on my cross stitch that I purchased from Jade. I want to work on that one soon. I have a couple of princess ones that I purchased from her and then I have that other one that I purchased right at Black Friday. It hasn't come in yet. Hers takes, for me it's about 12 weeks before I get it, before I get any um, of shipments from her and I am perfectly happy with that because I'm not ready for it anyway. 
But if you guys have any plans for 2024, if you make goals, I would love to hear what they are. And I've mentioned my potential goals in one of my whipping chats recently. I'm not sure which one since I've done so many day leads, but I am revising it. That was not the final for mine. It is going to be similar, but I am making some changes. And so that will be when I do my goals. So I have several videos that I have planned that's upcoming for next year. And I can't decide if I want to stick with the plan that I've been doing, been doing four videos a week, or if I want to go to just three. I'm thinking I'm going to stick with the four videos and see how that goes. But let me know as well if you would like to see four videos or if you think that four videos a week is just too much. And maybe I'm doing too many videos, but I, right now I have plenty of content. So until I run out of content or ideas, then I think that I will be okay. Let me see here. I need another color. My husband is on vacation, so he's got some things he's going to do today. And then tomorrow, Paige, my youngest, for those of you that are new, my youngest is working. And so she has to work tomorrow and I am so proud of her. She has come so far. She is special needs. She is autistic and she also has a learning disability, but she is working her tail off and the district manager that hired her absolutely loves her and she is seeing what Paige can do because we weren't sure what she would be able to do whenever the district manager hired her. And it was just a fluke. I mean, it was really, we weren't even really looking for her for a job. And she had gotten this job because of a prior teacher and a coach that knows this lady, goes in there quite often and was talking to her and she wanted to hire another special needs student or prior student and so Paige had just recently finished the program and at school and wasn't really doing anything and so they both said Paige's name at the same time and we just didn't know what she could do and so the district manager said I'm just going to start her out doing just really simple things like you know greeting customers holding doors for customers kind of thing and we're just going to see, you know, what all that she's capable of doing. And she said, we also need someone that can put stickers on their plates because they have to have the sticker of the company on their bowls. So that's what she started out doing. And she's still doing that. She's doing a great job of putting the stickers on. She enjoys stickers. So that's right down her alley. And she gets those done fairly quickly. She has like a thousand stickers whenever she's there she's only there for three hours at a time and so now she has progressed from not only cleaning the trays she cleans the trays and then she puts another paper down on the tray that has the name of the company and everything on there she does that and then when she's caught up with that they were really behind and so Paige started to take food to the customers and she's doing an excellent job with that and they did not intend on her doing that at all. The other two guys that Paige knows from the transition program, they do not deliver food. And so Paige started delivering food and she does an excellent job. So they have added that to her and they're very impressed. 
So anything that they're giving her, she is just stepping up and she's doing it. The only thing that we all know is that she will never be able to work the register. That is just not going to happen. She won't be able to work in the kitchen, you know, cooking or anything like that. She can't do um, food prep, but she is able to have the orders for delivery services and when they come and pick up the orders she hands them the orders. so she's even done that so it is really looking good for her I mean she only works six hours a week and she's already gotten paid twice and she is saving her money I've got to figure out because I am going to have to put her on disability and I've got to figure out how much money she can have in her account at one time. I'm her guardian, so I have to watch that too because I can only have so much in her account. Even though my name is also on her accounts, so we have to manage that properly. So it's a lot of work when you have a special needs child or adult. She's not a child anymore. She's 22. It is definitely a lot of work for the guardian. I am her sole guardian. And so I have to make sure that everything is done. I have to make a note you know, of certain things because once a year I have forms I have to fill out about the year and you know things that happen, things that I have tried to do for her and what she has done so it's going to be a big change when I fill out the form for next year and I have to send it to the court and then it goes to probate judge and so he looks at it so it's it's crazy but I as long as I write everything down that way whenever I get to the time that I have to fill out her forms. I'm able to easily just look at it, document it. I'm going to need to add a glue dot. This glue dot has just about had it. And I'm not even sure. I have got a stack on my desk, which I usually don't. But because I am working on multiple projects right now, I have way too much on my desk. I'm going to actually use this Add More Zest Zesty Lemon. It smells really good that I had gotten in on my one of my daily advents. And I know that's something that I'm going to plan on next year. Make sure that is part of my budget. That's been so much fun opening up daily advents because I don't know what it is. I would love to also have a daily advent where I open a book a day. I've seen where a couple of people have done that. I don't know if, if the books are purchased for them. What I'm thinking about doing next year is putting a list of books that I'd like to have and then sending my daughter money and telling her that I want her to get me some books that's on my list and then with my money, of course, and then wrap them up for me and then I will open them up every day. That could get rather pricey though, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. But I think that would be so much fun to open a book, open a book a day, or maybe even do a, have Kindle because they're cheaper than an actual hardback book. But I think that would be so much fun to not know what I'm going to get, but put what I want on a list so I'm not getting some something I'm not going to read. I definitely don't want to do that. I am in between books right now. I'm not sure what I'm going to read next. 
I've been reading the Throne of Glass series. I have stopped for a little bit. I don't like to read a series continuously, which or which I I do sometimes, but I'm trying to get into that habit where I just start a series and just read it until I'm done so I don't have all these series hanging over my head. I love the In Death, the J-Rob, and I listen to that on audio because I love the narrator. She is so fun. And so I'm on book 30-something of that one. I've gotten a little behind, so I need to get caught up on that one because she has two or three books that come out. It seems like a year. I think maybe two. Okay, I'm going to now put us on time lapse. We don't really have much else to say. And this is really dark colors. I wish I would have gotten my light pad out. I may stop before I put us on time lapse and I may get my light pad out just so I can see this a little better because the only complaint, and it's not really a complaint, the only con that I am seeing with this canvas is that the some of the symbols are extremely dark. But I mean, other than that, I love this canvas. It is easy to work with. The squares are really good. It's just some of these are really dark. And it's not very bright in here today anyway. And so that doesn't help. I don't have any natural light coming in. Very little. And with these, because the colors are so dark, I'm not able to multi-place because I can't tell on some of these if these are H's or G's until I get right up on it. And my heat just came on. It is a little loud. I do apologize, but it is freezing. I even have a little space heater in front of me and it's so cold in my room. I do try to tone it out some whenever I am editing. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't stay on for very long. So hopefully it will not be too annoying. Okay, I hope that you enjoy the music and I'll be back shortly. day 18 and these are books with a letter and an envelope and a flower so I thought that was really pretty and this is what this is looking like so far so I love how everything is coordinating that um, the colors are just gorgeous and I can't decide again which one's my favorite I kept going back and forth and I said it was a butterfly that I really liked but now I am, I'm just not sure. But I do love the butterfly. I, I like the lips. We haven't finished the typewriter yet or the umbrella. But I do love how this came out. The Just Breathe. I like that too. So I don't know. I like all of them. But I do think that my favorite, I guess I'm still going to have to say it's the butterfly. I love the colors. Tomorrow we're going to go up to day 19. And I've been really excited about this one. I just love bicycles. I have a lot of my cards where I have bicycle dies that I've used. 
So that's going to be so much fun to diamond paint. There is going to be a lot of white up there, but that's fine too. And then you're gonna have a little bouquet of flowers in the basket of the bike. So we will get to that one tomorrow. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back just to keep it covered so I don't get any dog hair or lint or anything on it. And now we're gonna open day 19. Day 19 are, says glow drills. So that's gonna be nice. I love doing these and this is square. These are kind of an off white. So we'll see if they actually are glow drills. I'm sure that they are. And I can always use special drills in my stash, especially since I don't have those. So that's gonna be even nicer. Thanks so much for watching me today. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.